On our example website, we have the standard toggle for your WordPress menu when you go to the mobile. So when I click that, the menu is going to appear. But what if you want like a full height menu where you can add in whatever you want within reason, which isn't just the WordPress menu. You might want to add in social sharing icons. You might even want to add in a subscribe or a sign up to our newsletter or tell someone about some offers you've got on your website. And it's really simple and easy to do with a pop up template. Go to templates, go and click all because it's always a good idea to see what you've got on your site. Then click pop up because you may already have some pop ups that have already been built. We're going to create a brand new one. We're going to call it add new template. It is a pop up and I'm going to call it example off canvas. Then I'm going to click create template. Now, I'm not going to use any of the templates that are provided by Elemental, but you do have some here to help you out. So, for instance, they already have one here that you could use as, off, as an off canvas menu, but we're going to build one from scratch. I mean, here's a really good one as well. Now, my off canvas menu is going to appear from the left hand side. So it's going to fly in and it's only going to fill up about 60% of the screen. So I'm going to go and hit a plus sign first and I'm going to go and add in a column direction container. All I'm going to do here is go and set my height to be full. So it's going to be a hundred like that. I'm not overly bothered by the width because we're going to set that within the pop up settings, which is down here. And I'm going to come on to that in a moment. I'm going to go to my my advanced tab and I am going to go and add in some padding of about 30. That's not very big, but that's because I'm already starting to think about if you are on a smaller device or when you do get to the menu. By the way, it's not a bad idea to go to your responsive view and adjust that. So maybe you're going to have 50 on the desktop and 30 on the mobile for your padding. Go and adjust it. The only other thing you'll do here with regards to the container is if you are going to mess around with the layout in terms of have it as a row or if you're going to have it wrapped, is everything going to be aligned where it starts from the top or is everything going to be aligned in the middle? Let's go and add in some items. We'll drop in a heading. We'll drop in a WordPress menu and we're going to drop in a form as well. That's already looking pretty busy. Let's go and adjust the heading. Welcome. I don't know why I've put that there, but you get the idea. Now let's go to our menu. The layout is currently set to be horizontal because that's what a lot of us are used to. Instead, I'm going to set it to be a vertical. I'm going to ensure it's aligned to the start. And here's the really important bit. There will be no breakpoint because if you were to leave this as the standard and I now go to the mobile, can you now see we get the toggle again? So we're going to have an off canvas menu come in when you hit the toggle. And then you've got another toggle, which you can get away with if you're trying to reveal certain info. So you might say, look, here's the menu, but maybe there's another area and you click it. Because you could add an accordion or a tabs or toggle into here as well. You're not limited to what you can do. You've got to think carefully, though, but there's so much you can add into it because you are working with containers and you can add in any widget you want. So let's go and hit this to none. So whether you're on the desktop, the tablet or the mobile, we want the menu to always appear like this. Now I'm going to go to my style. I'm going to set my horizontal padding to be zero. So now it left aligns it properly. If you ever do notice that you're not completely in line, like what we have here at the moment, just go and zero it. Let's now go to the form and I'm going to get rid of the name and the message. I'm going to get rid of the label. I'm going to make my email width be 70% so it doesn't go all the way across. And I'm going to do the same for the button. Remember, if you had made both of them 50%, they would sit on one line. Let's change the text to be subscribed. Here's a neat little trick though. If you want that subscribe form to go all the way to the bottom, go and click on the item above the very last item that you want to push to the bottom. Go to the advanced tab and go and set that to be grow. So by setting the WordPress menu to be grow, because it's above the form, which is the last item that I want to push down, it basically causes it to grow. All you do in the container is your styling. So if you're going to have some background styling, a gradient, if you're going to drop in images, you want to drop in a video, you can do. You can even drop in another WordPress menu. So we've got one WordPress menu here. You could have another one underneath if you want. Just make sure you haven't got the toggle activated or you might want to go for that. So you can make this as multi-tiered as you want. I'm now going to go over to the pop-up settings and this is where you want to set the width. So at the moment, this is 640. I was going to make this be 60%, but I've had a change in mind. We're only going to go for 400 in width and then I'm going to position it to be on the left. That's where it's gone or it could have gone on the right, or it could have stayed in the center, but we're going to pop it over to the left. I don't need to mess around with any of these because our container is already set to be VH100. 
But if you were a little bit unsure, you could just go with fit to screen as well. And that's going to fit the height. We are going to leave the overlay on or you could take it off. It's up to you. And we will have the close button visible. Now, when this comes in, it's actually going to slide in from the left. So let's go and activate that slide in left. And when you close it, I want it to slide out on the left hand side as well. So we'll pick that. And the duration, I'm just going to set it to be 0.8 seconds, which I think is pretty decent. We go over to our style. This is where you may want to change your background. So I'm just going to pick a nice color like that. I'm not going to bother with any border radius and it already defaults to have some shadow when it comes in, even though you have the overlay as well. If you don't want to have that, you can remove it. Now, in terms of the close button, I'm going to make that be uh, bigger, but I'm going to leave the position as it is. You can adjust this though. So when you get to the mobile, you may want to have it slightly smaller. Now, when we do get to the mobile, notice how it's going all the way across, even though in the desktop, it only fills up 400 pixel. So on the mobile, let's go back over to the setting. I'm going to make it be smaller. So it will be something like this. And if you want to put it on the right hand side, you can do because you're now working in the mobile view. So the settings can be manipulated to suit what you want to do for the desktop, the tablet or the mobile. I'm going to leave the overlay color as it is. I could make it darker or lighter. And the close button, I'm going to leave that as the color, but you could modify as I've shown you the size or the color of it. Now, the advanced tab is a little bit important. I'm not going to get the close button to appear after a certain time, and I'm not going to automatically close after a certain period either. But what I will say is avoid multiple pop ups, because if you've already got another pop up on screen, it can get annoying when you have two or three pop ups and you've got to close each one in turn. And then I'm going to hit publish. I'm going to set the condition for this to be on the entire website. You could, if you want, pick particular pages. I'm going to go for the entire site, only where that particular pop up is activated. So it works on any page, but I'm going to trigger it with an icon. So we're going to make a bit of a change to our home page, but it still uses what we've currently got but it uses a different icon for when you get to the mobile. In terms of trigger, well, I'm not going to get it to open automatically when you come on the page. Like why would the menu need to come in? And I'm also not going to have the menu appear when you exit the page. And I'm not going to say the menu appears when you scroll down a certain point. Again, I don't need to worry about that. And when we get to the advanced rules, I want you to access that menu whenever you want. So I'm not going to limit or restrict who can and who cannot access it. So we're just going to save and close so really simply. When you create your off canvas, there's not many settings to go through. The key bit is just to make sure you named it, which we did. We called it example off canvas. Now let's go and set it up on the home page. We've gone over to our header where we currently have our WordPress menu into here. I'm going to drop in an icon. I'm going to change the icon to be the bars. And then I'm going to change the style and size of it. Now, right now you're looking at this and going, but you've got the menu and then you've got the toggle bar. Isn't that confusing? Not really, because we're only going to let the toggle be visible on the mobile. So I'm going to go over to my toggle bar. I'm going to go to the advanced tab and I am going to say for responsive, do not show it on the desktop or the tablet. So if I now preview this because I've hidden it on the desktop, our menu goes all the way back over. So we're perfectly fine. But when we go back to editing, you'll now see it's there, but it is grayed out because it's only visible on the mobile. So let's now go over to the mobile view. We have two toggles. I think you can work out what we're going to do here. We're going to go to the original toggle, which was the WordPress menu. Go to the advanced tab, go to responsive, and we are going to say hide that on the mobile view. So now we have our logo and we have the toggle menu. But if I click this, that icon is not going to do anything. So remember, the original WordPress menu is visible on the desktop and tablet, but we've gone to responsive mode in the advanced tab. And I have said, do not show that on the mobile, but leave this icon. But it is just an icon. We now have to get that to open the pop up really easy. Staying on the icon, go to the content tab and you will have link. Go and click the dynamic tag, then scroll down until you get to pop up. Then click the spanner or the wrench and leave it as an open pop up. I'm going to type in exam, an example of Canvas template appears. That is our pop up. We then click it and that's it. Let's now preview it. So here's our example website and we have the WordPress menu at the top. 
and it will take you to the pages that you click. If I shrink this down, and we'll just go to something like this, but bear in mind, this is not a mobile screen. I'm just dragging the window on a desktop. If I now click this, this is the icon. The original WordPress menu that you see here has been responsibly hidden. I now click that and the off canvas menu came in from the left. I can go and click these and it's gonna take me to the pages. Let's just do that again, go back to the home page. We're back on the home page and we have this subscribe feature down here. So you could have added in more icons. You can have drop downs, accordions, videos, whatever you want. But this is another way of using a pop up to create an off canvas menu.